الموضوع Pwede ring maging uh, may merong preparation dito yung Happy Feet Emperors oh. pero looking at their their drafts right now prioritizing the Lunox against the Esmeralda and also the Tamp it is really a very difficult task pero kailangan niya agad makuha at least ng Necklace picking. of the Runs para ma, oh. ma ma negate yung healing factor ni ng Cotrin Inferno ni uh, ni Tamp and also the shield from uh, shield gain from the Esmeralda so uh, tingin ko talaga kaya basta makuha niya agad yung item, yung item uh, ng, ng Happy Feet Emperors. Mm. Batting out to Lolita on the side of Happy Feet Emperors. It seems like they're gonna be picking a ranged hero in here, which Your is, ayun na nga, pinakita na dito in the form of the Valor. I wonder in here kung magmamarksman pa ang uh, um, Happy Feet Emperors because if we're gonna take a look at the lineup so far, it's either, okay, they got a Grok, the Grok na as a tank support, but si Chor pa, hindi pa natin alam kung mag off lane or, uh, Diba? Um, um, umagtatank siya ulit, umagtatank yeah. fighter. Vern might either be a mage then or a support. Uh, so, hindi pa natin alam. Tingin ko, pwedeng mag-post for uh, Valir dito yung Happy Tempers and then offlane uh, Cho. Then, uh, si Serena J yung mga makakuha nun. Uh, magiging, ano nga dito, magiging result dito, kapag magiging post for yung Valir, kailangan nilang agahan ka agad yung rotation. And I think Serena J will be the one going to play the Cho, yes indeed. Hmm. At eto na nga, Medyo makunat-kunat din ang last two secures. Back shot. Oo. Oo. Paano na yung mga lifesteal, lifesteal natin dito? Medyo dalipas tayo. Akala, akala nyo kayo lang mayroong pang counter dito ng life sila. Meron din kami. Again, with the back shot mark, reducing 30% of the healing factor. Pero meron dito si uh, si uh, Aaron na ang gagamit ng, uh, ng carry. Kaso, uh -huh. well, it is almost the same. Uh, kailangan agad nilang maging uh, ifan ng lahat ng, ng experience and also resources para kay Kari. And uh, si, uh, si Lunox ang gagawa dito ng early rotations and also for the early damage. Ang uh, magiging uh, obstacle nga dito or magiging challenge nga dito ng Hunted Emperors is they need to do it fast. They need to rotate. As, as, kailangan pulido yung rotation dito ng Happy Emperors for them to pull it off successfully. I think ang win condition dito ng Happy Feet Emperors will be yung makuha agad nila yung early game. Uh -oh. Kasi they have to make the carry as well as the Lunox go Five online seconds agad. Right. The enemy so parang hindi natatagal din at mas maging makunat pa yung back siya and the rest of the tank heroes All in the lineup deployed. of Bren E. Pro. And the late game din naman, they got the advantage. Gustuhin mo yung masecure mo na agad yung early pa lang. Mm -hmm. Kasi ang hirap nga kapag umabot pa ng, early, ng late game, yung ultra late game na tinatawag nga natin, yes. si Doc Ribo on his sling, especially with his uh, bounty hunter, kaya niyang i-excel, kaya niyang makipag-counter kay Daniel on his carry. Right. Meanwhile, let's have a quick recap of the player lineup for the side of Happy Feet Emperors. We have Aaron on the Lunox, Vern on the Grop, Rene J on the Cho, Doggy on the Valir, and Daniel on the carry. And on the blue side, we have Bren E. Pro, Rafisha playing the Baksha, who's again on the Franco, Doc Ribo playing the Ling. Oh, hold that thought though. May napakang gandang skirmish yes, dito. Yes, fight ongoing right now. Napaklikar out talaga si JP dito, pero nahagod pa siya ni wow. Daniel going for that first. However, Renny J in here showing up the members of Renny Pro going Whoa, all in the turret and grabbing naman yun. Defensive move, Daniel in here will fall down onto the hands of Doc Rebo. Pero babawi ang din naman ni Aaron on a 2 for 2 exchange tayo so far agad. <laughs> Bodies on the floor, ladies and gentlemen. Si Rafli, siya yung mukha. Hindi pa yata tapos. Renny J, again, with the back mark. Hindi tatama. Hindi niya may isam yung kagad. Pero kaya niya pa rin mga makipagbakbakan dito by 1v1. But Renny J will decide to go back. But let's continue, Link, sa side dito ng Bren. And also, Renzo, para, para kay Thumbs and JP naman, para sa Esmeralda. Nakita natin kung paano yung ginawa ng Happy Feet Emperors trying to take advantage their early na meron sila. Kasi nga, they got the Lunox. So, naagaw nila yung blue buff sa jungle ng Bren E. Pro. Uh, them having itong gold did a while ago. Pero, yeah. mabilis siyang nahabol ng Bren E. Pro. Most probably, din nga sa ibang minions or monsters na nakuha na din sa jungle. And at the same time, yung crab na nakuha nila sa top. Turtle yeah. resurrected uh, soon. Pa nga, uh, magiging next objective. First objective of the match here for Game 3. Turtle already respawned, pero nag-aabangan. Wala pang level 4 ang mga kukuna ng dalawang miyembro dito. Brand E Pro and Happy Feet Emperors. Pero looking at the core, uh, the core heroes of Brand E Pro here, they're already ready to fight against 
this small skirmishes na, na kayang iba to ng Hot Feet Emperor kasi level 4 na rin si JP. Almost quarter XP away for his level 5. Right. And totally makikita mo dito yung magbabakbakan or magkakakitaan talaga sa taas is the carry as well as the thumb. So may range advantage dyan si carry. And at the same time nga lang, hindi pa naman siya ganun ko online. Pero ang advantage ng carry doon, or pero teka lang sa so pinulay, makikita natin dito po sa ganyan nga nalagyan ng wall. Hindi na makakatakas. So. At hindi rin available yung Thousand Pounder niya noon. Right. Nung pagkakataon na yun. And that's already a very good pick-up here on the side of half with Emperors. And I think it is already enough for them to capitalize and also take advantage of the situation to take down the turtle. At tingnan natin, Carry will be joining on to the team by Meanwhile, Sir Aflisha on to the back line. Doggy, delicado yung position. Trying to back away. Na secure pa nga ng Happy Feet Emperors ang ating turtle. Raflisha going so low. Tries to steal a lot of damage. Aaron will get the kill. Si Doggy, nagbabato na lang. Nagbabato na mga flame shots dito sa may gilid. And also, using the flicker on its advantage. Medyo pangit yung position dito. And also, on the bottom lane, Ling is still trying to... Uh, uh, get those items first. I think na siya ng Raptor Machete dito and I think that is already enough for Ling. Well, medyo nahihirapan din siya makaikot-ikot nga because the Cho, ginabantayan siya dun. Mm -hmm. Ay, tingnan natin 2v1 situation. Papalagan nga ba ni Rene J? Rene J will just fall back. Sisipain lang naman din pala. Oo, oh, pati medyo risky. Nandun din kasi si, uh, si Raflesia the well, for the stun and also for the disabled. But, well, I think this is a battle between mobility sa bottom lane. Kaya kailangan lang din talaga ni, uh, ni Ling ng unting uh, backup because lamang talaga. Jeet Kundo with the Shunpo, medyo lamang talaga when it comes Ako, to mobility sa bottom lane. Na. Pinapakita dito ng uh, Happy Fit Emperor. Sigay ko, ayun uh, yung ano, yung uh, Franco. Pero teka lang, onto the middle line. 2v2 situation right now. Doggy going so low but will be able to back away. The hook won't connect. At dito sinasabi, probably naging confident dun yung Happy Fit Emperors kasi nga, okay, confident kami. Kami, 80% win rate ng, uh, or rather, ng hook rate, di ba? <laughs> Pero, Nako, bottom lane, Rene J, we have the dragon, saktong sakto. Nasaan yung damage? Doc Rebo trying to run away, though. With oh. the flicker in, Rene J3 still trying to chase her fleece. And also the back of, of Happy Feet Emperor's Aeron with the Chaos Assault will secure one kill sa side ng Happy Feet Emperor's. And at the same time, a turret on the wall named part of the map. Meanwhile, dito, Daniel free farming lamang sa top lane natin. I think Ren Epro has to abuse that lane if they want to win itong uh, fights natin. Kasi ang nangyayari, it seems like they're focusing on the different lane. Kung saan pwede naman, bakit si Kari na lang? Alam natin ba si Kishi at Etro nga? Oh. They fight, or rather a 1v1 on going on to the top lane. Look at the damage coming from Daniel. Nice positioning. Stop However, Rebo. Doc Rebo is on a good position as well. Vernon Hill, medyo na late ng pasok. But then again, will secure a kill. One for one exchange, pero hindi pa nga tapos dito si JP. Yung nakuha na pa si Doggy Aero, medyo delikado. He's time to run away though. Chaos Assault, nasa na yung Darkening niya? Oh my god, may may the life steal Starlight Falls, but he will still go down. Power Falls for Bren, or rather Burn. Bren taloy. Burn this time, but sabi dito ni Renji, okay lang. Kuha na lang kami ng Tore dito sa gitna ng map. Oo, kuha lang dito si Renji ng Tore and also securing the turtle sa side ng Bren E Pro but Vern still trying to nako run po, away from po, this one. We'll try to run away. Nako, nakapag-dash out pa rin naman and that's actually a good thing. And at the same time, bottom lane, makikita natin 2v1 situation right now. This is the third hook that did not connect. Getting to Preken here. Nako, on the top lane, off cam kill. Carry will secure a kill. Going back, Rene J is still oh! trying to away. Look at that! Jerk! But unfortunately, won't survive until the last hit coming up from the Franco. Ang ganda ng pagbili niya ng oras dito. Mukhang magkaroon ng opening. But uh, again, the back siya using his shield unity. Able to run away. Puzaken. Mukhang naghahat ng magandang hook dito. And also, they might be able to get that steal. Not the right target though. But still enough for half Emperors to again equalize the net worth lead to side ng Happy Fit Emperor. I think this time Happy Fit Emperor is gaining confidence as they got a lead right now in terms of gold. And at the same time, a good position on taking down the tier 1 turret onto the top lane. Just They just have to wait for a little uh, bit of more waves in there. But I think hindi sila pwede maging overconfident pa. Indeed. Well, oh. siguro kasi ang laki pa rin talaga ng CC na kayang ibigay dito ng Esmeralda and also with the backup oh. at Happy Fit cool. Emperors. They are able to... That did not connect. Yep, not connect at all. But again, ag another objective side the Happy Emperor is here opening the jungle area of Bren E Pro here in the top lane. 
at uh, half it empress mukhang naghahanap pa rin taga sila ng dugo hindi pa rin tapos alam na nila na meron ang necklace of durance sa Aeron so kayang kaya nilang kontrolin ang team fight ng Brent E. Pro totally and right after taking the tier 1 turret onto the top lane look at the gold lead that happy feet emperors right now kanina wow. 1k lang ngayon ilan na and that is actually a good Launch thing attack. now Aeron so as Vern now they will just try to focus fire on JP right now look at the damage the side of happy feet emperors at ito nga tuloy pa rin nabakbakan Replacing going for the back line. Rebo dito, medyo naipit nga lang. Trying to back away. Makakasurvive bound to the hands of Daniel. Unfortunately, oh, unfortunately not. Dahil kukuwain pa siya ni Aaron. <laughs> Nakaabang. Akala ko makakatakas na dito. But unfortunately, ang ganda ng pagkakatrap. Nakaabang agad si Aaron. And he will be the one who's going to secure that kill. And also on top of that, Mayroon pa silang nakuwang turtle box sa side ng Hot Feet Emperor. Not just the turtle, but look at his tier 2 turret. Going so low onto the one lane part of the map. Still focus firing onto the turret is Rene J onto that show. Now I think this is the time that he has to back away. JP dashing Sumpo? in. Oh, nakapag-seeker pa oh, ba? Talagang flex ng ng flex ang Happy Feet Emperors dito. Objective into objective. Talagang maganda yung communication ng Happy Feet Emperors. And also Rene J on his show opening a lot or removing every outer turret of Bren E Pro right now. Oh, this is the sixth hook that did not connect on the side of Bren E Pro. We have yet to see Franco perform oh, on this back. fight right now because, you know, makikita natin yung comparison a while ago on the execution, on on the initiation pala ng uh, having this Franco all of this Rebo getting stunned in here. Delikado pa nga kung tinamaan pa siya noon. <laughs> Ang sakit na ni Doggy. This is a position for Valier, ladies and gentlemen. Right. Support. At yeah. Support pa to. At nakikita mo pa rin yung damage niya. Right. Nagbabato na siya na nagbabato. And also giving a lot of space gamit ng kanyang searing torrent. Well, tignan natin later on kung ano na yung mga items ni Doggy dito. Kasi it's also important that he has a lot of survivability items in here. And in mm -hmm. fact, ayun na nga. Winter Truncheon and Force Mana Boots. For his, of course, uh, survivability. Oh, at mo ang kuwa payata siya dito ng Ice Queen One. At kapag nakuwa na niya yung Ice Queen One, ang laki na ng bagay na kaya niyang ibigay dito. Right. With that slow, ang laki yung factor nun. Since, again, uh, well, they are really mobile, but ano mangyayari sa front lines? Kay Franco, kay Baxia, kay Esmeralda lalo. So, again, it is a very big opening for Happy Feet Emperors to dish out a lot of damage. Then again, guys, kung sino man ang matalo sa laban na to, we'll say bye-bye on our playoffs already because we're ready on the third game of our best of three match dito sa lower bracket. Mm -hmm. At uh, Bren E. Pro, alam nila na, okay, sige, kampante lang tayo, hindi natin kailangan mag-overextend. Hayaan natin si Doc Ribo na gamitin yung kanyang uh, lightness para mag- Oh, eto na nga, napita si Doggy dito sa gitna ng mapa right now and it seems like yun yung minahanap ng Brent Epo na offense. Rene J going so low onto the one-way part of the map, flickering out, the hook did not connect. So they will transition onto the middle lane. Aaron, tatago dito sa bush right now. Will he go all in? May revitalize. Alright, revitalize. Popped in here by Rapley. Oy, getting hook a hook in here for the first time and nakakuha sila ng pick up dito. Two members on the side of Happy Feet Embers. Pero ba ang mawi ang pangla ng triple girl ni Daniel. Ito na, online na nga si Daniel, mga kaibigan. At tingin ko, kahit yung uh, si, kahit si Lulos, it's already online po sa here with a bloody hand, but he will pay for his life. Oh, Round 2 ni Prenta po sa Reflisha. Napakagandang no, grok block dito. Mumaibit si Puzakin. And another turret takedown sa side ng Happy Feet Efforts. And this is a wipeout. Ramdam na ramdam na. Meron pang kanan dito na main base. Might go down here and Happy Feet Emperors will take down Brand E Pro. Oh. On a two